Hey guys, welcome back to Matt and Summer's YouTube channel. If you're new here, we tour luxury properties all across the UK. I'm Tom, Jazz is with me today. Hi guys. So we're in sunny Manchester today and we're going to be checking out an apartment in number one Deansgate. So it's on the market for £1.4 million with Stephen Litt from Keller Williams. It's got two bedrooms, three bathrooms, it's 1,800 square feet and it has a crazy wraparound balcony. So we've got in the underground parking in the car we're going to take the elevator up and we'll meet you guys at the apartment. Okay guys, so we're in the apartment now. We're in the entrance hall through this massive door, by the way. Gigantic. We've got some wood flooring and we've got this like textured wallpaper. Yeah, I like how the spotlights go down on it. Yeah, and they really sparkle off because it's got yeah. that sort of, like, yeah, like I say, that textured feel. Lovely. So in the kitchen now, we've got a massive open plan space here looking out over the balcony to the Manchester rooftops, which is awesome. But we've also got, yeah, this really minimalistic white kitchen, big kitchen island here, and then with the matching worktops and units either side. This extractor fan unit is massive. I was just thinking that. It is absolutely massive, and it Huge. needs to be because we've got a very chef-style kitchen in this apartment. Yes. So we've got the grill here, we've got like a hot plate frying looking thing, and then, yeah, an induction hob that side. Nice. It's definitely a chef's kitchen. We've got wine cooler and fridge this side. Awesome. And we've got the main fridge freezer at this end. <laughs> and we've actually got another fridge here. So. Oh, that's handy. We're not short on fridge space in this apartment. No. We've got a proper coffee maker here. That looks like an industrial <laughs> It looks quite complicated. Maker. I'm not sure I know how to make a coffee in that. <laughs> some interesting sinks here, They're very rounded and smooth edges. Yeah. And then we've got gag and our microwave oven. And again, like I said, it's that real industrial chef kitchen yeah. style ovens. So maybe a chef in here. Yeah. Who maybe. knows? And then to your left, Jazz, here, we've actually got a really unique piece of furniture. Oh, wow. Fresh from the airport. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you got your drawers. Your perfect little cocktail, cocktail storage place or drink storage, because you yeah. can wheel it around. <gasps> Cockpit cocktails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, and then moving into this dining space then with the dining table. It's a nice big wood table. Yeah, what I've really noticed like about here is the, the legs on the tables and the sofa as well, which we're going to show you in a second, are all glass. Oh, wow. So it really gives that feel that they're just floating. Adds to the open space feel. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's very well lit in here. We've got a lot of light coming in from the outside, but then we've also got the spotlights as well, which yeah. are all over the ceiling, keeping it nice and bright. We've got a coffee table set up here with, again, the sofa, like I said before, with these glass, the glass legs. Very minimalistic. Nice comfy sofa. Yeah, it's quite an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost like you'd want to lie that way, like a shade Yeah. Mark. <laughs> okay, and then coming through here then, it's the last part of this dining space before we hit that divide of those glass doors. And we've got, yeah, a nice little chilled out space here, you can sit, do some reading, another seating area here. We've actually got a piano this side. Oh, are you gonna play it for us? Yeah, shall I? Give you a little tune. Oh. Oh, yeah, wow. Like that. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> anyway, going on. So we're gonna head through these glass doors now. It's like I a little like, divide, but it yeah. is still open plan. You know, you can have these open like so. And then it sort of brings these two spaces together, but yeah. it could be separate if you wanted, which is always good to have that option. So coming through here then, this actually was a bedroom, bedroom three. Yes. But I think they knocked a wall through so that it just gave all of this, this space and allowed it to be together. Yeah. Which is good. I think, to be honest, I'd rather have an office slash living space separate in here. Yeah. And another bedroom. Makes it feel more cosy. Yeah, I suppose it depends well. how many guests you're having, how many yeah. people are staying with you, but as a, an individual or as a couple, yeah. it'd be good to have yeah, another living room space. Because it is the, uh, the old bedroom, mm -hmm. we still have the bathroom in here. Cool. So we've actually got a shower through this nice, tinted, opaque glass door. Oh yeah, it's quite a cool little. If you, it's feature. actually big enough if you come round. Oh yeah. It's a nice big space. Oh wow. So we've got some storage behind the mirrors as well. That's cool, they're like slidey. It's cool, isn't it? And we've got like Mediterranean style stone effect tiles here. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, nice big shower. The shower head, which I really like in showers when they have a nice seat for you. Oh yeah, so when do I. you've had a tough day at work, you can 
sit in your shower. Yeah. You shower yourself. <laughs> Probably been there for hours. There's a big shower head up top with the spotlights and we've actually got jets to the side so that you get that full body clean. Oh no. Nice. A bit more thorough. Oh, there's okay. two of you. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> yeah, and then there's spotlights as well running through the bathrooms and the ceilings in all of the rooms as well. So this is like a nice office space, being able to look out across the whole of the Manchester rooftops. Yeah. Be a nice spot for work, wouldn't it? Definitely. Very productive area. Mm. Looks good. Um, we're gonna head to the bedrooms now. I think I'll take the camera off, Jazz, so you can show you. those. Thank yeah? you. And we're gonna head out to the balconies. Yeah, so one really interesting thing about this apartment is that the balcony wraps all the way around and is accessible through every single room. So we're gonna use this way to go into the master bedroom. Let's do it. Right. And this is your little sneak peek of the balcony because we're gonna show you it in more detail at the end of the apartment tour. So we've got a nice little seating area. I'm a fan of the bean bags. Yeah. And then sure. another little seating area here. Past this little, oh, it's used as a divide. Yeah. I suppose. Right guys, so we are in the principal bedroom. I must say these are very generously sized bedrooms. Yeah. And they're huge. We've got the same kind of wallpaper that was in the living space, but a yeah. different color. Ooh, very textured. Yeah, textured <laughs> Didn't isn't expect it? that. Yeah. yeah. And we've got a nice big double bed. I like the fact that it's low to the ground as well. And we've got this nice soft carpet too. I thought that was a fluffy headboard, and now I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, no. In here, we have just like a storage cupboard. I think it'd be very good to use this as a walk-in wardrobe. Yeah. It's got like, the rails, and then the extra bit of storage behind that door, too. Very useful. Yeah. So I'm going to take you guys into the ensuite. I'm excited to show you this because it is huge. Oh, I'm on a rug. Nope. That's inappropriate. <laughs> we are working. <laughs> Um, anyway, this bathroom, I love it. It's ginormous. We've got this gorgeous built-in bath, which is really cool because it runs along with the wall. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the same. Yeah, the tiles from the, the walls and on the floor as well. Yeah. It's like yeah, big... it all matches. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. We've got this huge basin as well. And like Tom said in the other bathroom, we've got these little sliding yeah. drawers. Oh, nice. Oh, I've been spotlight. looking for that. I found it. <laughs> You actually match this bathroom yourself, Jazz, with the white, yeah. and the white and the cream. The beige yeah. going on. Nice. That's nice. And there's about six of you. Yeah, that's what we love to hear, that <laughs> match a bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, we've got this ginormous mirror here, another big mirror here, so I can see about a million of me. It's like Inception. Yeah. Very cool. We've got this nice deep shelf above the toilet. And obviously the walk-in shower is just behind Tom as well. Yeah. So coming on out of here, we're going to come out of the principal bedroom and just across the hallway we have the family bathroom which is the same tiles as the master bedroom ensuite. Then we've got this double shower that's huge. Very sizable isn't it? Yeah and then like the other bathroom we have the nice mirror storage and the deep setback shelf. Now nice. I'm going to take you over into bedroom two. Cool. Right wow it's a nice bright bedroom. Yes. I think that's a good thing about these bedrooms they have like most of them have white walls, which really reflect, reflects the light. Yeah. So yeah, this is still- And also there's lots of natural light coming yeah. in from outside because exactly. they're all facing that balcony. Yeah, exactly. They're all accessible through the balcony. But yeah, this is a nice bedroom. Good size, double bed. I think it's got everything you need in here. Yeah. I'm gonna come around here. These have some blinds. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, if I can Wrong do way. it. <laughs> So you twist them um, all around the balcony area. You have these, except from the master bedroom, which has its own inbuilt ones. And yeah, yeah. look, you can just bring it down. Nice. So it doesn't take up any room inside. Yeah. And then... Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll leave that for now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Right, so now we're gonna take you back out onto the balcony and give you the in-depth tour. Oh. Right, so this is where we're gonna start. I think this balcony is ginormous for one, but it's also very wide. Yes. And it's got the nice tiles out here. Now, a good thing as well is you've got these like kind of safety glass, but yeah. it's still, they're like, they remind me of glass blinds. Can you yeah, see it? Yeah, I know what so you mean. So you've got like the gaps for the air to come through, so it's still- Yeah, it still feels like you're outside. Yeah, exactly. But you feel safer for one. Yeah. And two, I bet when it rains, 
or it's windy, yeah. you won't get any light. Because I'm stood out here in a t shirt yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. It's only England, so yeah. it's not too warm. Yeah. So we're coming around the other side now, and we are in the sun, so nice and warm. It's like a sun trap with yeah, the glass. Yeah, it's pretty warm now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like a little greenhouse. Oh, some construction going on downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, so now we're walking past the open living space, and we're coming up to a nice little seating area, which is yeah, cute. Nice. They've used this balcony very well, I think, yeah. with all the places they've set up. An outdoor heater, not that we need that right now, Yeah. because it's very warm. But yeah. You've actually got different views on every side of this balcony yeah. too. So right now I'm looking across to like more of high-rise Manchester. Yeah. So like the big apartment building and stuff like that. So I like it. So this is the door we came out of when yeah. we first yeah, transitioned that, like, between study the Yeah, space. Interval. Yeah. And we've got nice beanbag seating area as well. I like yeah. that. I bet that's warm and cosy. Yeah, it's in the sun now, isn't it? So yeah. this view at the moment looks across to the hills as well, which is really yeah. good. So you've got the city and then in the back, the hills, which is a lovely contrast, like to be able to look at that. Yes. Definitely. Right, yeah. so now we are... Ooh, do you know what? I might sit down. Yeah, do it. Oh, so at the end the of the sun. balcony. Yeah, we're at the end of the balcony. I think it's just amazing, this how it wraps around all three sides. Yeah. You can access it through every single room. And it's just yeah. so nice to have outside space when you're in the city in, the in an city. apartment like this. It's yeah. so hard to come by, but exactly. to have three different views outside, yeah. that's something that you don't get a lot. So it's very exactly. special. And like, like I said, with these views, you've got like some shopping centers down there, King Street, which we're, oh, we're going to go check out, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to so head down. Stay tuned. We're about to go outside, get a feel of the local area for you guys, do yeah. a bit of exploring in Manchester. So yeah. Should we go? Yes, yeah, meet him down there. Let's go. Okay guys, so we've just come out of the apartment now. Immediately when we came out, we saw a bunch of cool shops. We've got Printworks, the Arendelle Indoor Shopping Centre, and a bunch of other shops. There's also a load of cafes and restaurants with a really nice traditional feel next to the cathedral and all the Tudor buildings, which looks really nice. And I would love to have all of that on my doorstep. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. We'll be bringing you a lot more soon. So make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below of your favorite part of this tour, whether it was in the apartment or the area, let us know. And we'll see you guys in the next video.